Distribution Codes A distribution code is an allocation at the point of entry with a predetermined allocation spread. Distribution codes are very useful and can reduce transaction entry time and increase accuracy. To set up distribution codes, go to Maintain on the top toolbar and then Distribution Codes. A screen will appear that will allow you to search for current distribution codes or the option to create new ones. For more information about distribution codes, please refer to the Setting Up and Maintaining Distribution Codes training video, GLS20. Memorize Recall Documents The Memorize Recall Document icon allows you to memorize the information from an unposted document and recall it in a future session. When memorizing the document, you will have the option of saving it as actual amounts or percentages. Once you choose a session to recall, you can create a new document ID, description, and effective date for the recalled document. This allows you to save time later by just recalling the document and not having to enter all of the information again. This option is available during the transaction entry process. For more information on memorizing documents, please refer to the Memorizing Documents training video, EFF20. Recurring Transactions Recurring transactions are set up through the Memorize Recurring Document icon, which is available during the transaction entry process. To set up recurring transactions, select the Recurring Entry checkbox, and then enter in the first transaction date, frequency, and ending transaction date, or the No Ending Date checkbox. Once recurring transactions are set up, a message will appear each time you enter the system, letting you know that recurring entries are due. For more information about recurring transactions, please refer to the Recurring Entry Training video, EFF40. Auto-Increment Document Numbers The Auto-Increment feature can be used when entering various transaction types in the system. To auto-increment document numbers, simply press the plus key to have the system automatically increment to the next available document number. To initially activate this feature, go to the Administration module. From the main menu, select Organization and Organization Preferences. Click on the Enable Document ID Control checkbox. Then go to the Document Number tab. Enter the desired document number in the Last Document Number field adjacent to Transaction Type. Later, when entering transactions, pressing the plus key will increment the document number you just entered to the next available number. Auto Reverse of Journal Vouchers this feature is very useful for accrual and other entries that you know will need to be reversed at a later time. There are three reversal options you can choose from. 1. In current document. 2. New document, current session. And 3. New document, new session. The current document option allows you to reverse the transaction within the document you are currently working in. The second option, new document, current session creates an automatic reversing entry as a new document within the current session. The third option, New Document, New Session, creates an automatic reversing entry as a new document in a new session. For more information about auto-reversal, please refer to the Utilizing Auto-Reversal in Journal Vouchers training video, GLT-10. True North Training. Never feel lost again.